So looking at some of the highlights from earlier in her professional debut. How about the start today for Rose Zhang? Got off to a really good start with two birdies already and then pours this one in. She would roll that in to get to nine under and take the lead. Back to Zhang, her third at that eighth. Talk about a player looking for their first win. How about in their professional debut? Hasn't happened. Her speed control is usually pretty spot on. Bogey free so far today. After a four under par 32 on the front. You can see the hoodies and the long sleeves. It is a bit chilly. And here is the biggest story of the week. Rose Zhang, one back on the tee at 12. Deciding to go down the left side, but this one might be just a little too much left. No, it's fine. That'll be a good angle into that front right hole location today. Bit of a perfect hybrid between Jin Young Ko and Lydia Ko. She has all those elements to her game. And the most impressive of them all, Karen, is the intangible, her mental game. The way she's played Karen, you would say she's deserving. Well, I mean, definitely an unusual talent. I mean, there's not an awful lot of players in, in the game that, that have had the amateur career that she's had and uh, have the fanfare coming out into professional golf. I think it's a smart move for, for, the, for the, that championship to go ahead and invite her. She might not need the invite if she goes on to no. win before then. She'll get in. Just keep knocking on the door. It's gonna happen. She keeps putting herself in that position. Par putt here for Rose. Yeah, good two putt in the end. Oh, she's using a seven iron today. Whole playing on 37, but it is back into the wind and off the right, and this is a fade into that wind. Wow. I, I mean, are we surprised? It's the best of the day. You know, something that we don't see at all out here on the LPGA Tour, and it's uh, very interesting to see how it all how it's all playing out for her. One of the reasons, different wind direction today, Tom. Uh, wind more off the right. Previous days, it's been quite heavily downwind. And with it being colder, uh, you're not going to get the same kind of carry. So this trying to be short of that bunker on the right. Yeah, I was talking to Missy Jones, one of the rules officials, and the breeze, they forecasted to come slightly more out of the east, and it's coming more out of the north, and it's protected by the city. Second shot here for Rose. Wind up the right, Karen. It sure is, but really sheltered by the trees that are to the right, but expect the ball to move left once it gets in the air. This is a seven iron. Oh, flagging it. This is just majestic stuff. That side of the green where the bunker is. Oh, we had a good look there. It looked like maybe pushed that just a hair from where she was lined up and how she was looking. I don't see a weakness, Karen. No, there really isn't one. With this club, there should be plenty to carry the green. This is on a really good line. Really good. I mean, is it perfect? A little backstop there. Wow, what a shot. She's only missed four fairways this week. This is going to count as a, fifth, as a missed fairway. <laughs> which is a bit odd, Yeah. but what a shot. I mean, and it's, you know, you're in, in this position. I mean, it's a gutsy play to take driver out and go for this green and pull it off. Oh. Just a push. Never had that online on the line where that she had on her ball, as we could see from our camera angle. Or Charles Barkley, he would aim there too, wouldn't he? <laughs> cut it back I might to the aim film. there as well. <laughs> back into the wind, Tom, a little bit of from the left as well. And as you'd expect, strike down the fairway. Talking to the tournament director here, Kevin Hopkins. She's playing with Brooke Henderson. Back into a little breeze off the left. Just stay there. Yep, it's giving herself a chance. It's, it's quite fast, huh? Yeah, back down the hill. 
Well, incredibly quick, Tom. Downhill and downwind as well. Doesn't great break a huge amount. Oh, that went. I did not see that movement at all. That took a little left, left movement midway down. Looked like that was right where she was lined up to hit it, mm. Kay. And I don't think that she, or Karen, excuse me, I don't think that she saw that break either. A little bit fooled by the read. Maybe the wind? Would the wind have moved that ball a touch left as well? And the tracer tells the story. Oops. And if that's your miss and it's still in the fairway, in order to have that quiet confidence and knowing that you have all the shots, you have all the shots. The better speed control today. The best putters have the best speed. We see it time and time again. And she proved that today that she has tremendous control of her pace, which is why she makes so many putts. You hit a lot, hit a lot of fairways, hit a lot of greens, and putt. Well, that's a pretty good combination. As you say, you can't win big events if you don't putt well.